Hello, my friend. This is Kambiz Nafisi, Meditation Master. I've been teaching Kriya Yoga, Breathing Meditation, and Self-Transformation courses for the past 27 years all around the world. Today, I want to speak to you about the power and the attitude of saying yes instead of no. You know, the Americans use the expression, the carrot instead of the stick. The human mind doesn't like the word no and the human ego doesn't like to be inhibited by you know, slapping the wrist and saying, don't do this. The word yes works better for creating motivation. Find things that open your heart, things that make your soul and heart happy, and say big yeses to those things, such as getting deeper into your relationship and not resisting love, going with a hobby that really makes your heart and soul very, very happy. Show yourself to the world. Ask yourself this question. Are you hiding yourself from the world? If you're a painter, do you have an Instagram page? Do you go out to galleries and show your work? If you're a pianist, are you playing in the basement or are you playing your music out to the world? A lot of people are hiding themselves and that's a way of saying no to the world. Other ways of saying yes. When you meditate, do you just say yes, yes, yes to releasing yourself to more and more silence? What are your heart and soul thirsty for? Maybe you're dying to have a puppy dog because you just crave receiving that unconditional love from a dog. You must say yes to that. When was the last time you gave yourself a gift? You know, a small little gift like going to the car wash or buying a new pair of socks. You see a new sweater and you just want it really badly, but you're saying no to yourself because you want to save. Don't get me wrong, when the five senses crave, 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 and they want cocaine and grass and more booze, then you say no, you find something internal. Find an internally rich inner life. Reading a good book, doing your yoga, dancing in your room, going out to nature, having a walk by the beach in the park, holding your lover's hands. These are parts of your inner life. When you find inner activities and inner life that nourishes your heart and your soul, and you say yes to those people and those activities, then you create a lot of energy from inside out. I want you to practice this next thing for the next seven days. When you breathe in, visualize that you're breathing in life. When you breathe out, just say yes, yes, yes. So here's the practice. Breathe in the life force, breathe out with the attitude of yes. I'm gonna say yes to this next circumstance. I'm gonna say yes to life. When you walk on the sidewalk with the attitude of yes, I am saying yes to life, people will immediately know that. You'll be radiating, you'll be walking with welcoming arms. So more people want to stay in touch with you and say hello and give you a hug. The body has hidden language. People who walk around with no are defending themselves against life. Please do not defend yourself against life, love, meditation, money. Show your piano skills to the world. Show your paintings. Show your face. Be out there. Let the world know who you are. That's the practice. And also examine your vocabulary. If a lot of your sentences say, yes, but, yes, maybe, however, perhaps. You see, if you use a lot of words like perhaps, however, maybe not, but, these things show that in your subconscious mind, you have the attitude of saying no to life. At every moment, every day of your life, especially in this world of the internet, there are opportunities for you to learn something new, to do something different. There are opportunities knocking at your door, at your Instagram page. You may have 
a new message on your Facebook, in your email? Do you delete these emails from people you don't know or do you just open them and look at them? I'm not asking you to respond to spam mail, but you know, this is the world of the internet. So there are people approaching you. There's new learning to be done. There's new business opportunities. So are you saying yes to some of these things? In general, saying yes to life is a lot more risky than saying no. When you are defending yourself against life, that's no risk. Say yes. If you're going into a great big challenge, you don't need to know how you're going to get it done. Do not be concerned with the question of how am I going to do this? If something excites your heart, if something uplifts your soul, just say yes. Talk to your soul. Talk to the God force. Say yes. Jump in. Breathe in the life force with the exhalation. Go forward with the word yes. And then see how things turn out. Meet those challenges. Saying yes also means doing things that you don't prefer to do. If you have an elderly grandmother and you have to take care of her three times a week, do it. I know you don't prefer to, but do it because that is love. You need to live with your own conscience and sleep better at nights. So there are some things that you prefer not to do, but they have very good karma you know, giving love to an older person. Do them. Join a social movement, a just movement that improves society. In any case, I send you lots of love for these next seven days. Just keep saying yes. Breathing the life force in with the exhalation. Say yes to the present moment. Don't resist.